One family in the Bethel School District is grieving this afternoon. A 14 year old boy took his own life last month. The 11th child suicide in Lane County this year and it's a parent's worst nightmare. School officials tell me they want to make sure their students know they matter. The walk sign is on to cross Echo Hollow Road. The walk sign is on to cross Echo Hollow Road. As we approach the end of the year, our hope is that we are able to find something that helps you in that pain that you're experiencing. Another family in Lane County is dealing with the unimaginable. They're the 11th family this year left to adjust to a new way of life. And for the first time, they'll be spending the holidays without one of their children. And that we can keep you here with us while we get through that painful time. The latest death, a 14 year old boy who went to Willamette High School. We're protecting the identity of the student out of respect for him and his family. But I wanted to know how the Bethel School District helps kids after something like this, the unthinkable, happens. We mobilize quickly to support our students and our staff. Um, reach out quickly to the family and make sure that we're honoring their wishes as a community in their grieving process. That's where Brooke Cottle, the director of the Bethel Health Center, comes in. On, on our school level, we look at supporting care rooms, so opening up spaces where kids can spend some time to take a minute or talk to a trusted adult, but be able to process that grief in the way that they need. Cottle brings in volunteers like Amy Rose Wooten, coordinator of the Courageous Kids program. The program has been supporting children and their families since 1996, specifically youth who have lost a sibling, a loved one, a parent. I'm just in an effort to create community um, for kids um, to be around other kids who are having a similar lived experience. Working closely with schools, Wooten and her team make sure anyone on site at the schools can help with an immediate grief response. If they have a youth that has had a major uh, loss, um, whether that is something that they kind of know is coming up expectant around chronic illness or whether it's immediate, um, they can contact us at any time and we'll come out with resources, supplies, and do some care coordination around getting that youth and family coordinated not only to our services but other services in the community as well. But it's not just trusted adults kids can go to. In middle school, I wasn't really a helpful person, but ever since I got through high school and like COVID, I've always enjoyed helping people. Samantha Kurzel is a senior at Willamette High. She's involved in Bethel's Sources of Strength program, the district's suicide prevention program. It makes me feel like whenever they say thank you or they have that smile on their face, just like, oh, that makes so much sense. Thanks, Ella, for the help. I just, I get this warm feeling and I enjoy helping people. It's meant to help get students involved in helping their peers and increase positive interactions between adults and students. So Source is actually a way for people to get out and do something that they enjoy doing, like helping other people. But even with these resources for students and their families, there are still challenges to overcome. I think there is still to this day a lot of stigma around just the word. But I think the more that we can talk about it with our kids, with our families, the more that those conversations can be preventative rather than reactive. Um, and so it does take some practice, but I encourage all parents to begin to have those conversations using the word suicide with their kids as early as possible. And Wooten and Cottle say if they could get one message out to teens and young adults, it would be this. You matter. Our greatest hope for you is that you can feel well in who you are and that you can have the support that you need to get through really hard times. Wooten tells me uh, Courageous Kids is hoping to get more funding, which she says will eventually help expand their service lines to include groups dedicated specifically to loss around suicide. But before that happens, they're still tirelessly working to make sure kids and families in our community get the critical mental health help they need. If you or someone you know is struggling, you can also call 988 anytime.